I first learned about it through one of my friends who worked here previously. And um, I was working in a retail position and um, was just kind of learning what it meant to, to listen to God. Um, not even to follow, but just to listen. But yeah, so I, you know, growing up in church all my life, I, I knew the Jesus of the Bible, but I didn't know the Jesus of my heart. And so through that time, he was definitely pushing and pulling and, and refining and squeezing, and I was resistant. And my friend brought me uh, an application and said, you, you should really think about this. You should really think about um, going here and, and looking at it and just seeing if this is what God wants for you. And so I came here and realized, you know, the, what you were saying this morning about how no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can imagine what awaits for those who love God and are called according to His purpose. Every possible dream um, that I had developed at that time was fulfilled while I was here. The heartbeat of Gateway Academy is one that is very God-focused and um, almost radical to, to share that there is hope for every person, but specifically those who have come into addiction. Um, that there is life transformation that can only be um, fulfilled through walking with Jesus and, and building relationship with Jesus and um, seeking to destroy flesh and live sold out for God. Um, I think it, it helps I feel that Jesus has a way of captivating people here in a way that can't happen other places. And I know that he brings specifically those here who will hear him in this setting. God is using this ministry to, to share the gospel, to evangelize by, by us as his disciples reaching out and putting our hands out whether that be um, international missions. We've gone to Guatemala multiple times. Um, recently we went to Canada and built relationships with some, um, with the ministry there. And even just us as staff, as students, when we go out from this place, we are God's mouthpiece. So everything that we say, everything that you know, that we share, it's not accident, it's not coincidental. And God uses us wherever we are at. Discipleship means challenge and growth and learning what it means to be in love with Jesus and how to voice that and share it with whomever we meet, with you know, sharing our passions that have been God-ordained, that have been placed within us to, um, to everyone that we meet, that, we, that we're not silent, that we're bold, that we, we are able to continue to grow no matter our station or no matter where we think we are in life, but that we are continually moving forward and we're bringing others with us as we move toward glory. Well, I think the first way to get involved with this ministry, to support this ministry, is definitely prayer. Because I, I think that, you know, before you, you move anywhere, you should wait for the prompting of God um, and wait for His confirmation. I also know that you can, you know, you can give of, you know, your, your time, of, of, you know, your money, of, of, the, of the things that you have that are extra, that are abundant, because to be blessed and then to bless is, is such a huge blessing. Um, and I think that's, 
that's the greatest operation is knowing that if you have you know anything that is overflowing that you should share it with others um, because that's Jesus I do what I do because of the love and the joy and the peace and the power that God has given me through personal testimony and through his amazing, amazing grace. Because I want as many people to know about what it is to have relationship with Jesus and who he is personally to each of us. Um, with this place here, I, I see I see boys who come in and they're they're broken and they're angry and they're confused and they're lost and they sometimes they feel so alone and I watch as God restores them in front of my eyes and it's just so awesome to know that there none, none of that is my power like there is nothing that I can do that can take a boy who yesterday was angry and bitter and cursed God to, you know, one small moment of such poignant reality and conversion and have him walking today, praising God's name and being on fire and having that boldness and passion and he can't contain it. and and the passion that is, that stews on this campus is, um, like that, that's missions to me, that's, that's what we are, are to be, um, are loud and unapologetic about who this beautiful creator and savior really is. I think it's really important for us as believers to really believe. And I, I think that, um, when we ask for things in His name, we have to know that what we ask for, when we believe in boldness, will happen. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's no accident that, that in the Bible there are, are stories and messages and letters that deal with every possible situation that our lives could ever hold. And that God has placed a call on each of our lives that is always growing and changing and, and becoming bigger if we allow it. And um, I, I think that we have to stop putting ourselves in a box and let God out of his box so that we can really see what, what this world would look like on fire for Jesus. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.